What's up, guys? It's Lou from Unbox Therapy. I waited up all night over at the local Apple store to pick this baby up. It is the long-awaited iPad 3 unboxing. That's right. I just called it the iPad 3, so Apple, you can sue me. I don't care. No, please don't sue me, but um, that's what it should have been called, but who cares? Uh, they want to call it the third gen. Well, the bottom line is it's an iPad with a super crazy, stupid resolution screen. Let's get inside and get a closer look. After all, this is Unbox Therapy, where products get naked. You all know that, and I'm here to do my job, to do what I do best, and get this baby out of the package. So, the very first thing you're going to notice is the main attraction, the brand new iPad. I decided to go with the black color this time. I went with the white one on the uh, last generation iPad. See, now I'm getting the generations into the mix on the iPad 2, which was a lot easier to say. I went with the white model. I wanted to mix it up this time, go with the black one. So you got a, a few boring items that we've, we've got to get through, um, a little bit of paperwork from Apple. And look at this. They've also included the classic Apple stickers, two Apple stickers for you to place wherever you like. Just don't put them on the bump of your car, please. <laughs> <laughs> Word of warning. No, I'm just kidding. Put them wherever the hell you want. You've also got the sync cable and, of course, the standard iPad power brick that I'm sure we've all seen before. But what you came here for is, of course, the new iPad. And uh, as you guys can see here, very reminiscent of the old iPad or the iPad 2. Let's go ahead and strip it down and take a closer look at what it's all about. And uh, get a first look as well at that new screen, that retina display as Apple is calling it. There is one other hardware change, which is, of course, the camera along top. Obviously, there's processing power improvements as well. You've got quad-core graphics. But you do have an improvement on the back camera, which they're now calling the eyesight camera. Don't ask me why. It seems a little bit strange. But um, it's supposed to be a lot closer now in quality to that of the iPhone 4S's camera, although early reports are stating it's not quite as good as that. Although it's awkward using this thing as a camera anyway. So on the back of the device, you've got your headphone jack, that new camera that I just mentioned. Uh, you've got the power button along top. You've got your switch. You can either use it for orientation lock or volume or whatever you want. You've also got your volume rocker there. And then on the bottom of the device is where your 30-pin connector is. Let's get this baby booted up. Virgin boot right here. And uh, we'll check, up, check out what that retina display is all about, if it's as impressive as people are saying. Now, one thing I want to mention is it is actually impossible for me to show you the quality of this screen through the screen that you're using. Chances are... Your screen at home, your computer screen that is, is lower resolution than what this iPad offers. So it is impossible. I'll try my best here, give you a few close-ups near the end of the video to get a better idea. But you're just going to have to take my word for it that this thing is sharp as hell. It's uh, it, you could you could cut yourself on it. That's how sharp. No, nah, man, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, it's beautiful. It is a improvement. Now, whether or not you should upgrade, well, hey, that's going to be up to you. Um, we're going to do what anybody would do who got a new iPad, boot up YouTube, and check out the back catalog of Unbox Therapy. That just makes sense. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this thing is snappy. Um, not, I don't know if I'm going to say noticeably snappier than the last version, at, lot, at least not in this particular use case scenario here of just booting up YouTube. But I will be doing a review, running it through its paces. Of course, I've got the iPad 2, so I'll be running some comparisons as well. You're going to want to subscribe to check all that stuff out. But this is really all about the new screen everybody is talking about. And, uh, you know, as as I go along using it more for text and reading, I'll get back to you guys with just how good it is. I picked up one more thing today. That is the brand new Apple TV supporting 1080p now. That's one more reason to subscribe. Check out the unboxing and preview of this. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this unboxing, hopefully you can like and favorite this video. It does help me out a bunch. And I'm going to let you roll out here on some beautiful imagery with some beautiful music from my man James D. I put a link to his channel up in the annotations as well as down in the description. Let's go. I'll see you guys later.